guys! So, I have been asking on all of my different social media sites, my Facebook page, my Facebook fitness page, my Twitter, all those different places, what, if you could ask me one thing, what would it be when it comes to health and fitness or personal life, anything. But for this video, we're going to keep it health and fitness related. My cat is making a bunch of noise in the background, so please excuse that, Merida. Come here. Um, anyway, so I wrote down a few of the questions right here, and I'm going to do my best to answer them to the best of my ability, and let's jump right into it now. The first one was, how do you stay motivated? Now, I made a little bit of a video about that that I will I'll put here. You can just click on it, and it'll bring it straight to the video. But um, that video was kind of a little bit ago and kind of had a lot to it. But basically, from Merida, Merida, come here. She's making a lot of noise. Um, but basically, okay, so motivation for me, first and foremost, is because I want to feel good about myself. I want to look good. I want to be healthy for my family. That's always the first thing for me. Secondly, I have a husband who loves working out, so he kind of helps with that. But third is my challenge groups. Fitness is my job. So if I'm being honest with you, like staying in shape, I'm motivated because that is how I am getting clients and that is how I'm inspiring others and helping them on their journey. But through my challenge groups, and I'll be making a video about that later, you know, we're in a group where we're holding each other accountable, we're posting pictures, we're posting recipes, and that just keeps me motivated. And just always remembering my why, why I'm doing what I'm doing, why do I want this so bad. If you have a strong enough, um, an important enough why for why you are trying to get in shape or get healthy or whatever, then you're going to be motivated because you have to want it more than you want anything else, more than you want that cookie, more than you want to go to that party. You have to want it so bad that it trumps the rest of whatever. Second one, how do you feel about ellipticals? I love ellipticals. To be honest with you, in the past, I was kind of unsure about them. I was like, I don't, you know, know that I'm getting a good enough workout. But then I started doing the specific workouts on it. Like, I do the Glute Toner Plus every day. I love the elliptical because it is easy on the knees and it is fun. I get bored on a treadmill. So, an elliptical is kind of like a game to see how fast I can get the little circular motions going. So, I love the elliptical. Number three, how often should I change my workout? You should be changing your workout about every four weeks. So if you're, you know, doing the same thing for a month, next month focus on something totally different. Do a whole nother program, a whole nother structure to your workout. Every four weeks just about you want to change something up. Good place to buy fitness gear. You can buy fitness gear anywhere. I mean, obviously, if you want to go the more expensive route, you can go somewhere like Lululemon. Um, but I purchase the majority of my exercise gear from Ross, which is great because you're getting, like, name brands for cheap. Um, I also do, like, Foot Lockers. Uh, I don't really do Walmart, but you know what? My husband has a ton of workout shirts from Walmart, and they're great. Um, they look good on him. They haven't shrunk in the wash. Just get them wherever. Get something that makes you feel cute and doesn't, you know, empty out your bank account because then you won't be motivated. Next one, best way to lose baby weight. Okay, so losing baby weight is just like losing weight, period, any weight. And what you're going to want to do is combine a good amount of cardio and strength training and then also your diet will need to be on point. You know. Exercise is about 70% of what's going to go happen, what's going to happen with your body. Um, diet is 20% and genetics is 10%. Everybody kind of has a different percentage that they believe that to be, but that's pretty accurate right there. You're going to, you can work out all you want and yeah, you're going to start to see muscle, you're going to start to be toned, but if you're not eating correctly, nothing's going to happen with your stomach. Everybody has a six pack. Everybody, even the person that is obese, you have a six pack. You just have to get rid of the fat that layers over that. So the key is to get a good balance of cardio, strength training, and diet. And next question, 
Best overall exercise. If I had to pick one exercise and I hate it and I think everybody hates it, but if I had to pick one exercise that is the best, I guess you could say, I would say a burpee. Only because burpees are the entire body. You are getting your heart rate up. You are using your legs if you're doing a jump at the top. You're using your arms if you're doing a push out push up at the bottom. So burpees are great for overall everything and I'd suggest them for the best overall workout. Last question, best weight loss cardio. High intensity interval training, HIT workouts. What you're gonna wanna do, the reason why Insanity is such a great program and why it works so well and people get such amazing results is because it is a HIT program basically. You are constantly getting your heart rate really, really high and then bringing it down to a resting period. And the more you do that, the faster you're gonna burn calories, the faster you're gonna lose weight. And I hope that I answered some of your questions. If I didn't, please leave them down below in the comment section and we will see you guys later. Bye.